right, team, so we decided to hold this press conference for uh, breaking news. As most of you guys know, uh, Zep Pound, which is also uh, known as Terzipa Tide, and also Monhero, was actually just approved, FDA approved for chronic weight management, which is super exciting. I think one of the most common questions, and we're gonna actually just rapid fire a few of these questions uh, for all of you, because we've got a lot of questions, is number one, is Zep Pound different than Monhero or Terzipatide? Yeah, so basically it's the packaging, right? It's the same active ingredient. Uh, and so Zep Pound or Mujaro, they're all terzipatide, which is the active chemical or ingredient that's gonna help us get that weight loss. And, and this is super cool. So uh, Eli Lilly first made uh, terzipatide Monhero for a diabetic drug. Uh, people saw significant weight loss. This was even well published in articles like the New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, they have since rebranded it as Zep Pound, which should be coming soon. Listen to our next article to talk about that. Uh, but Zep Pound is actually the terzipatide, the active ingredient in Monhero. So uh, super, super exciting because it's the GLP and GIP. Yeah. So uh, Mythbusters, Monhero, uh, uh, Zep Pound are actually the same medication, all based on the, the, the medication Terazeptide uh, for weight loss and previously for diabetic uh, treatment as well. You know, is Zep Pound, which was just FDA approved for chronic weight management, is it a different drug than Monhero? Uh, the short answer is, short answer is yes. Uh, excuse me, no. <laughs> it is not a different medication. It's a different name. That's what mm -hmm. I was going for when I meant yes. So we have seen Terzipatide, which is Mujaro. Zep Pound is just rebranded. So the packaging is different. It has the label of Zep Pound, but the chemical, the drug you're administering will be Terzipatide. And, and I think for a lot of our patients, it gives them some added security because I know we've had a few patients that have been a little hesitant to get started on the weight loss revolution using Terzipatide and it maybe stayed on semi-glutide, maybe on the Wagovi because it wasn't FDA uh, approved for chronic weight exactly. management. And I also think the fact that it was FDA approved for chronic weight management shows this healthcare shift in terms of, you know, how uh, the healthcare system sees, you know, the management of weight. And it more as a chronic issue and something that, you know, you really want to work with your healthcare provider, but uh, absolutely amazing that there's going to be more and more options. Some of these are already available uh, in the forms of the compound stuff. Uh, we'll get to when Zepam is actually going to be released uh, nationally for all of you guys. See you soon. Bye. One of the other questions we've gotten so many DMs about is, is Zepam going to be as effective as uh, Ozempic, Semiglutide, um, and uh, Monjera? Yeah, so the short answer is it should be more effective, right, than Ozempic, Wagovi, Semiglutide. With those medications, we see around 15% of total body weight loss with terzipatide, which we've used and seen great results with. You get around 20 to 22 and a half percent of total body weight loss, which is absolutely awesome. Again, because Zepound is that renamed, that brand name of the medication terzipatide, which we have been using and have seen great results with. So for people that are on terazeptide, either a compound version or Monhero, uh, you know, off-label from, from the diabetic medication, they won't really see a difference. It's not really a new drug. It's actually the exact same uh, active ingredient, the terazeptide. So, you know, many patients are already on that medication, but no question there's some patients on, uh, you know, Wagovi, the semi-glutide, and, you know, maybe have stalled out, maybe need to uh, something a little bit stronger. You know, Zepound is that, but they may already be able to get it in, in terms of terazeptide. But I also don't want to, everyone to think that you have to get this medication. A lot of patients are doing absolutely fabulous on, on semi-glutide, on Wagovi. So, you know, the one great thing about having options is that there's options. And then that's where seeing a healthcare provider, you know, someone who specializes in this, will be able to help, you know, people move through that, that line of getting to a good spot and really getting it to the appropriate dose. Not everybody needs the same dose. Exactly, exactly. But more to come. See ya.